Was the PS5 Pro priced for the average consumer? Well... I'm Scott. I'm Jen. We're Retro Rivals, and we are going to talk about the new PS5 Pro pricing. Sony just released their new PS5 Pro prices. Yes. I was absolutely shocked. We have a breakdown of Canadian and US mm -hmm. dollar amounts and what I think a basic setup would be maybe a new gamer getting into it. I need to start out by saying that when you know the inkling of PS5 Pro started getting talked about this year earlier probably in the spring and we were all the, interested. We were all interested yeah. because as consumers we were first day adopters for the PS5. We bought it day one. We it's, have a huge PS4 library. Yes. Um, when the PS5 came along, we, we jumped, jumped. Right on the bandwagon, but to be quite honest, the PS5 library is yeah. nowhere near what the PS4 No, is. and I know that had a lot to do with being able to produce the consoles and to not leave the last generation of gamers behind from that PS4, so they put out games still on the PS4 and PS5. Initially, when there was Inklings, I was excited about the disk drive being separate. I know what you guys are saying because I said the same thing. I'm like, what? Why? If something in your console is going to break, it's going to be the optical drive. If you had the ability to replace that and only that, that seems like such a benefit to the a, consumer. A, a plug and play option. But when the pricing guy came out for this and I started seeing all the videos roll in on YouTube, I was flabbergasted. The sticker price is shocking. Uh -huh. And I see everybody on YouTube saying how shocking it is. But when you see the Canadian dollar breakdown on what this basic setup is, you're gonna be floored. Just when we're talking about the console itself, we, we keep seeing the $700. On every US yeah. YouTube video, 700 bucks. <laughs> Six ninety nine ninety nine. That's yes. U.S. prices for the basic, basic console, console without the hardware. So that that price, the Canadian price for just the machine itself and one controller, I think, yes, is nine hundred fifty nine dollars <laughs> and ninety nine cents plus tax. Plus tax. Plus tax. We're gonna add all. We're gonna add my whole basic bundle up, and we're gonna tax it all at the end. Yeah. Now I should say that I guess this bundle is going to come preloaded with Astro's Playroom, like Which the. Which nobody has played yet. No, no, no. None of us have played that on the PS5 already. So that's gonna come preloaded. It is a great game. It is a great it game. It is a fantastic game. But why game. not give us the new one? Why not just give us the new one? If you're putting out a Pro Edition, why not give us the new one? But, I mean, that's neither here nor there. Yeah. And it does come with one controller. Yes. No stand. You need a stand. If you want to stand that sucker up vertically, you need a stand. So the stand's going to be separate. And the stand is US $29.99. Mm -hmm. Canadian, I don't know how they got this conversion, is $39.99. Yeah. Not a fair conversion rate, guys. No. We're paying more. It should have been more priced at maybe $34.99. Would make That would have made closer that would have sense been closer. to the actual conversion rate between US and Canadian dollars. But. So, need a stand for the Pro. Yes. We have that. While well, you need a game. Yeah. So, a game in the States, a brand new game will cost you $69.99. We're talking like a AAA title. Yes. It's, it's your high end, high end game. For us, that same game in Canada is going to cost us eighty nine ninety nine. Eighty nine ninety nine. So with all your taxes. On. Yeah, you need a second. You controller. You need a second controller. Need a second I was floored when I looked at the price <laughs> of the controller. The U.S. dollars is pretty shocking to me, which is seventy four ninety nine. Yeah. Seventy five dollars for a new control for a controller. Yeah. The Canadian dollar is ninety four ninety six for a controller. That's the cheapest one we could find at That's Walmart. That's the cheapest one. Now my mom did. Oh. A, my mom got us controllers for Christmas the year we got our PS five. So we didn't know the full price of a PS five controller, and so we were a little bit caught off guard. <laughs> Ignorance is bliss. Yes, it is. <laughs> it right? is. So you need your two controllers. Well, okay. Well. If you're gonna need a headset there. Somebody's gonna do some online gaming. Yeah. There you get kid gonna play some online. You don't wanna hear them. You don't oh. wanna hear their friends or whatever. So headset. So Jen, what's the cheapest headset we can get? <laughs> PS5 Pulse. Let's see. $99.99. In Canada, it's $130.46, which was the cheapest one we can find. Those We're look doing online. PS5 yes. branded stuff. 
So, if you're going to have a headset and you're going to play online, you're going to need a subscription. Yeah. So in the US, the basic subscription is $10, and I think the most expensive... $18.99. $18.99. So we went with the basic one in my little list here, and in Canada, that $10 is $11.99. Yes. Which is more reasonable more for reasonable. conversion. More reasonable. Yes. Yeah, fair conversion. So, we get all that. I like playing physical games. I want my son to play I physical like... games. We're going to get the disc drive. Well, we bought the game. Might as well get the disc drive. <laughs> right? We didn't buy it digitally. Yeah. So the disc drive in the U.S. is $79.99. Yeah. In Canada, is $99.99. That's not the worst part about it. I had a guy at work to come over and talk to me last night. He knows I'm in the game. And he's yes? like, this, is, this, this whole thing is a debacle. I'm like, what, what are you talking about? Because I didn't really know. I had to go and look it up. There's no PS5 disc drives. I'm like, what do you mean? They're yeah. all sold out. People are flying to try to get these, and they're not available. Okay, now, conspiracy theory here. Yes. Either A, the resellers bought them all up and are going to sell them at a very inflated price. I mean, that's not... That's not a good option. No, that's not unreasonable to think that that's no. probably what it is, um, but... Or B, Sony just doesn't really want to make them... So they're not going to put a lot out because yeah. they really don't want to sell you physical games. And I mean, I don't think it's a conspiracy theory because we're seeing the digital yeah. push happen more and more all the time. Last gen consoles, there wasn't a big push on that digital console. They were available, but there wasn't a push for them. It was kind of like, oh, here's an option over to the side. If you want it, okay, you don't have to, but it's here. Yeah. Now it's like, hey, this is your digital console. If, I guess, you want a disk drive, here's, here's your disk drive. Here's my theory on that. Find. I don't think the digital console sold very well. So then Sony just said, well, let's just take the disk drive out. Yeah. Make it deta detachable or whatever. Make it not an option. So they'll have to buy the base model and then add to it if they want it. If they can get it. If they can get which they're not. I don't think they're going to make many of them. My theory, they probably have more of them. They're probably only releasing a certain amount. They're going to see if they can get away with not having as many, not maybe selling as many. Maybe they're looking at supply and demand, maybe. And then maybe if they go, oh God, people really want these, then they'll go, hey guys, listen, it's not our fault. We were trying to supply them, but we're it's a supply and demand issue and we're, we're making them as fast as we can. That's my theory, honestly, is that they're holding back to see if they can just push the digital. They, they want to push digital first. That's what they do with their games. Yes. So anyway, let's break it down. I have totaled up both sides of this list. Mm -hmm. So in US dollars before tax with your, your PS5 Pro, the stand, the game, the controller, headset, disk drive, and subscription for the month, monthly, it's going to cost you $1,064.94. And we added on the 8.04% tax, which is another $85.62 which brings you to a total of 11.50.56. Yes. Canadian, it's going to be 14.27.37 with the tax of $214.10. You're looking at 16.41.47. $1,641.47. It's insane. For one game, you know, just I what I think is like if you have two kids, it's Pretty much is going to cover your bases there. Yeah. For one month, because if you want to get the yearly subscription, it's going to cost you a little bit more. But maybe you don't need a second controller, or maybe you don't need a headset, or you know, yes. like, the price will vary. But I, I was floored when I seen yeah. like sixteen hundred dollars, more than sixteen hundred dollars, and I was just yeah, it's insane. Thank God Alex is seventeen and a PC gamer because. <laughs> He'd be like, Dad, can I get the new PS5 Pro? No. You can get a it's job. It's the PS5. No. We have almost every console going. There's no way I'm paying that no. for a new console that does happening. the same thing as the other one. I don't think the difference in graphics and all this other stuff, frame rate and all, all that stuff, I really don't understand. It's not going to be noticeable for me. I my don't old think, eyes. I don't think it's <laughs> noticeable for me either. Yeah. And when we're talking about the price of inflation, from what the console came out at, at $649.99 Canadian. Yes. At the, time, at the time. We're talking about that's, that's 12, back in 2020. 2020. Yeah. 12.75, 12 and three quarters inflation rate. That does not make up the difference. That does not add up to $959.99. Missing a disk drive. Yes. 
How is that, how is that reasonable? I don't know if it's corporate greed or just people that are so out of touch with reality, they have no idea what the average people make, what we I, can afford. This, the, this was the first thing that I, I said to you after being having the sticker shock, I looked at you and I said, I don't think the big CEOs and the people running Sony, making the decisions, pricing these things out, are, I think they're completely out of touch with their consumers, with the people, the average person buying the games. Yeah. It, it, it floored me. This this whole thing is shocking. I'm a big PlayStation fan. I love PS1, PS2, the PS3. I was the 360s guy, but 360 guy, but PS3, I, I've learned to love it there, you know, yeah. afterwards. Jumped right into the PS4 Pro. Oh, love it. It's Jen, my favorite Jen's, console. Jen's favorite it's console. Favorite and you jump right into the PS5. But then you bring out this, and like this Sony Pony is done. Um, no yeah. PS5, no, no more PS5 Pro. PS5, no. Yeah, I Sony needs to do better. They need to be more in touch with their average consumer. This is not for everyone. This is for this, almost no one. This day, like, I think most places times are tough. Mm -hmm. Like groceries are expensive, gas is expensive, rent is expensive. People, their wages aren't going up that much. And, no. and look at that. Like I said in a different video, if it's if it's playing digital or or you know I have no choice, I have to play digital or I can play the games that I have. I'll play the games that I have. We have a lifetime of games. I have a lifetime of games. Yeah. One quick thing for people that stuck around this long, I was also shocked at the PSVR 2 when that sticker price came out. We said, no, we're not doing that, but we're awake. We're much quieter about that, but I, I don't hear anything about it anymore. No, there's crickets. Have they priced themselves out of that? Or is that a failure? I don't know anything about it, but I don't hear anything about it either. No, it's, no. it's kind of gone pretty, pretty quiet yeah. on the PSVR 2. Let us know what you think. Uh, this is a little talking head video where we just went we full ranted. anger. Yeah, I I don't like doing these. <laughs> no, I but don't. you know what? But I was. It's I important was... for the community to know that we also don't agree with with what th is going on. This is not right. I think if we stand together, maybe let we your can wallets make... show. Yes. Let the wallet show. You don't have to say anything, but let your wallet speak. If you're not happy with the prices, don't just don't buy it. Don't yeah. open your wallet, you know, get it on clearance. Exactly. <laughs> and with that being said, I think we've ranted enough. And until next time, game on.